Hello everyone, it's Mr. Carroll here with a short video on MYP assessment. First up, there's me and Mr. Searle and Ms. Burke and we are the MYP leadership team at Glen Waverley Campus. Um, there's our email addresses if you need them. So what is assessment? First of all, assessment has two different types. One is formative, which is done in class, which just gives some feedback on how you're going and also helps teachers know where you're at so that they can plan for the next lesson. The second is summative assessment, and that's tasks that inform your final grade that you'll see on the report. Summative assessment is the focus of this presentation. So first of all, it's generally connected to the units and the statement of inquiry, so the big ideas of the unit. All students will do the same summative assessment tasks unless there's an, a, a really unique exception to the rule. All students will do them at a similar time unless perhaps like year nine, some students are at clone, so they do them at a slightly different time. And a summative assessment could look like, could be a test, could be a research task, um, work clear, collected in a folio or a whole term project. That um, works especially for just Okay, so when you get a task, you'll see on the task always somewhere it'll say what the criteria is. So in this case, criteria C. I'll run through how many criteria there are and things in a sec, but every task assesses one of four one or more of four criteria in the The criterion related assessment for each criterion has will have what's called task specific clarifications. Right? So you can see there a student who got a three to a four. Um, you've produced a piece of writing that demonstrates adequate personal engagement with the creative process. So in this case, and in most cases, that three to four number is your good general understanding of the topic. All right, four is a good understanding of the topic, three is a general um, understanding, but there are some gaps. So when you do this, you're not compared to another student. Everyone in the room could get a seven or an eight. Um, if they're able, and the, the teacher is always making professional judgments of the, the, against the standard written down here with other teachers by talking to them. They're not marking how many you got right and how many you got wrong and giving you a percentage. So when the teachers are marking the work, they look at each strand and they mark each strand um, so the strands are the different one, two, three points here. And then you, they look at where you would fit for each of those strands. And then they talk about that with other teachers. So in this case, so for this one, um, the student got a three, four, um, for this, for uh, the first strand there. And then for the second strand, they got a five, six. So in this case, what that generally means is the student would get a four. Now that's not based on an average, that's based on the idea that you were not able to meet all of the five, six criteria. So it is impossible for the teacher to give you a five, six. Um, so they give you a three, four because you didn't meet the five, all the five, six strands. You might, so. At the end of the semester and of the year, you get a report. Now the report doesn't have any comments on it. The comments have come through the year on WISE. You'll see at the top there, you get these learning behaviors. Um, so the just basic statements about how you work through class and how you complete set tasks. And then you get your four criterion here. Now what the teacher does is the teacher looks at all of the criterion A tasks you've done and all the feedback you've done, plus anything else they've seen in class and give you a number out of eight. All right. And then you've got underneath that, you've got your overall grade, which is out of seven. All right. So we'll walk through this a little bit more, but the thing to notice here, which confuses a lot of people, is all the different criterion are out of eight and the overall grade is out of seven. Learning behaviors. 
All right, so in the report, you'll see that there's learning behaviors here and here's the criteria. So for instance, complex set tasks on time is about planning to achieve a goal, identified as important, managing time effectively and keeping class schedules. All right, so making sure all the work is done on time. And then beneath that, you can see they're marked well, from consistently down to rarely. Continuing grades, as I said before, these are all marked out of eight, and every one of these grades is marked at least twice during a calendar year for pretty much every subject. Um, I'll go through the exceptions in a sec. And so the teachers look at look at the descriptors, look at how you've done throughout the year, and they will give you a number out of eight. Here, you can see the overall grade descriptors. Now, as you can see here, a four is a good general understanding of the required knowledge, concepts and skills and the ability to apply them effectively in normal situations. So generally, a four is a good understanding of the material and a three is limited achievement. All right, so if you want to know what the starting point is for um, ensuring you have a good understanding of what, what has happened in that unit, um, in that criteria, it's a four, all right? And then if you get a seven, you get as a consistent and thorough understanding. Now, how do we get to these overall grades? What happens is you go, you get marks for each criteria out of, out of eight, you add those up, and then you will get a number, and however that number fits in the second column, so let's say you get five, 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 and five, that would be 20, and that would give you a five overall, a consistent thorough understanding of the knowledge. Nice. Okay, so criterion grade are out of eight, overall grades are out of seven. Just a quick note, some reports are different. REE doesn't have grades, only some work habits in Y's in second semester. Dance and drama are semester length, so the grade is at the end of the semester. All right, now that's the final grade you get for that. And year nine reports, you get an overall grade at the end of the term, final grade um, without an overall grade apart from art, and then you get a final grade at the end of term three or four, depending on when you go to clones. Um, so that's it. That's a short version of the MYP grading scale at Wesley College. Thank you.